It's a scorcher out there today, so let's try something refreshing. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shane's Craft Beer Review. It is a hot, hot, bloody day here today. 36 degrees Celsius, even more with the Humidex, I'm sure. I spent most of my day outside because I love this weather, but it is hot. So today, we're going to try something that hopefully is going to refresh us, give us something nice and cool to drink. This is the Granville Watermelon Lager. This is from the Granville Island Brewing Company out of Vancouver, British Columbia. 5% alcohol by volume, 20 IBU. A bright, crisp lager with a subtle hint of your favorite summertime taste. Nice and simple. But now that I think about it, how do they know what my favorite summertime taste is? Why do they assume it's watermelon? Maybe my favorite summertime taste is ice cream. Did they ever think of that? Huh? <laughs> Alright, maybe a little bit too serious for a beer. That's right. Let's check this out. Let's check out this watermelon lager. That's, and I was actually expecting this to be kind of pink or reddish or something. It's not. It's uh, like a nice kind of light colored lager. Which only leaves me to believe one thing. Artificial watermelon. That's all I can think of. Anyway, let's give her a nose. I don't smell any watermelon at all. I can smell a little bit of malt, a little bit of sweetness. No watermelon. Well, I'm assuming it tastes like watermelon, so watermelon, watermelon. So let's check it out. Cheers. There's a bit of a fruity taste in there. I would definitely not qualify it as watermelon. Um, it's it's light, it's crisp. Um, there is a fruitiness to it. I wouldn't say it's watermelon. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what it, it definitely doesn't taste like watermelon. Um, but like with a lot of these fruity flavored beers, um, the fruitiness does taste a little on the artificial side. And I don't like artificial stuff. Just put watermelon in the beer. Watermelon's cheap. Um, cause yeah, cause there's no watermelon flavor in here at all. It's, it's fruity, but I can't quite pick out what the fruit is. Yeah, not, not watermelon. That's for sure. Um, it's not bad. It's not a bad tasting beer, but it's definitely not watermelon. They should have just called it uh, slightly fruity lager. That's what they should have called it. Uh, on a scale of one to five, we're gonna give us uh, we get two and a half. It, it's okay. It's not bad, but it's definitely not what it's supposed to taste like, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, so a little disappointed in the Grandsville watermelon lager. Thanks again for watching, guys. Really appreciate your time. Stay safe. See you next time.